Sixth grade, module four, lesson six, problem set. Number one, we're gonna evaluate each expression and we're gonna use GEMDAS. So remember, we start with grouping, any grouping symbols, whether it's parentheses, brackets, or braces. Then we move on to exponents. Then we do multiplication or division, left to right, and then addition and subtraction, left to right. So let's start with number one. Three times five, I'm just gonna rewrite the problem. 3 times 5 plus 2 times 8 plus 2. Okay, so there's no grouping, there's no exponent, so I'm going to move to multiplication or division. Remember, it's left to right. So the first one I see is 3 times 5, so I'm going to solve 15. And then I also see 2 times 8. So I'm going to do 15 plus 2 times 8 is 16 plus 2 and 15 plus 16 is 31, plus two is 33. Number two has some decimals. So we're talking money here. I'm gonna leave out the dollar signs because we don't need them to solve the problem. So we have 175 plus two times 25 cents plus five times five hundredths times twenty-four. Okay, so we need to start in the parentheses. And within the parentheses, we have quite a bit going on. But we need to start with multiplication or division. So I'm going to scan it left to right looking for a multiplication or division problem. So we have $1.75 plus two. So that doesn't work. But then we have two times twenty-five hundredths. That I can multiply. So I'm going to do 175 plus 2 times 25 hundredths would be 50 hundredths or 5 tenths plus 5 times 5 hundredths I'm actually going to solve 5 times 5 hundredths so 5 times 5 hundredths or you can look at it as 5 times 5 cents if you had 5 cents times 5 you'd have 25 cents so this is going to be 25 hundredths times not just four, 24. Okay, so we've scaled it down a bit, but we still need to do the rest of the addition. So $1.75, I'm actually gonna add $1.75 and 25 cents because that would get me $2. And then if I add that in, we'd have $2.50. So we have 250 and we've solved everything in the parentheses, so we don't need them anymore, times 24. So two and a half times 24, so let's do 24 times two and a half. Remember we solve it like a normal problem and then we're gonna add the decimal point in the end. So five times four is 20, carry the two. Five times two is 10 plus two is 12. Put my zero down onto the two and erase the two so I don't get confused. Two times four is eight, two times two is four. Add, we get 600 but remember there was one digit behind the decimal point so i need to move my decimal point over one place to the left and we get 60 so this is equal to 60. and it was talking money so it's actually 60 dollars okay number three we have two times six plus eight times four plus one. So we need to solve things in parentheses first. So I'm gonna do two times six is 12, plus eight times four is 32, plus one. So now we can just add them all together. 12 plus 32 would be 44, plus one is 45. And number four, We have a lot in parentheses here. And then within the parentheses, we have those and that. So I'm gonna rewrite it just to have my own so I can start, so I have something to look at right above it. So we have eight times one in 95 hundredths plus three times two in 95 hundredths plus 10 and 95 hundredths 
times 1 and 6 hundredths. So I'm going to start with my parentheses. I'll start with this first one. 8 times 1 and 95 hundredths. So 1 and 95 hundredths times 8. 40. 8 times 9 is 72. Plus 4 is 76. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 7 is 15. I need to move the decimal point two places. So that is 15 and 60 hundredths. Or 15 and 6 tenths. Plus... 3 times 2 and 95 hundredths. So 2 and 95 hundredths times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 9 is 27. Plus 1 is 28. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. Move the decimal point two places. So that's 8 and 85 hundredths. Plus 10 and 95 hundredths. And then times 1 and 6 hundredths. So now we can go through and add these together. So I'm going to add two at a time. 15 and 6 tenths plus 8 and 85 hundredths. Make sure to line up your place values. 6 plus 4, or 6 plus 8, would be 14. Carry the 1, 2, bring that down. So we have 24 and 45 hundredths. Now let's add the 10 and 95 hundredths. Bring the decimal point down, so we so this all adds up to 35 and 4 tenths, and since we've solved it, we're done with those parentheses, times 1 and 6 hundredths. Now we need to multiply 35 and 4 tenths times 1 and 6 hundredths. So start with 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 2, 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32, Carry the 3, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3, or 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Put our 0 down, erase what we carried, and keep going. 0 times 4 is 0, 0, and that's going to be 0. Now we put two zeros down. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3. Add everything together. And we just, there are three digits behind a decimal point, so we need to move it over three places. So we get 37 and 524 thousandths. And then the last one, I'm going to erase this so we have room to solve it. Okay, so we need to start with parentheses, and there's a lot of parentheses, so I'm going to start with the parentheses inside of the parentheses first. So let's do 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we have 4 to the second power minus, here we need to solve 3 to the second power first because it's inside of the parentheses, so that's going to be 9 because 3 times 3 is 9, so 18 divided by 9 is 2. That's in parentheses. Times, we can do 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now let's solve the exponent. So 4 to the second power is 16. So we're going to have 16 minus 2 times 2. 16 minus 2 is 14 times 2 is equal to 28. And that is all.